Also tonight, testing to improve water quality. Several wild swimming areas will be monitored regularly this summer. Next tonight, wild swimmers and campaigners for cleaner water have welcomed the news that seven new locations in the region, including parts of two rivers, have been designated as bathing waters. It means the water quality will be tested regularly and it all starts on Wednesday. Our environment correspondent Kirk England is here now with more. Kirk. Thanks for that, Natalie. Now, from a swim in the sea to a plunge in a river, taking a dip in the great outdoors is something lots of us here in the southwest enjoy. And now, seven new locations in our region have been officially designated as bathing water sites. Now, that means the water will be regularly tested throughout the bathing water season. So this is a map of the new sites, and it's interesting to see that locations on rivers are included the Tone in Somerset and the Dart in Devon. Now, campaigners there have been testing the river water themselves because of concerns over how clean it is. And they say this is a massive step forward. It's amazing. It's, it's communities rising up and saying, no more, let's do something about this. And with this um, status, and on four sites, no other river in the UK has four sites designated. So we're the first in the country and it and it's inspiring and it means change can happen and it and it inspires other community groups to do something similar. So local communities are a big part of making all of this happen. Now, earlier this year, we reported on the sharp increase in the number of sewage spills from what are known as storm overflows into the sea and waterways by Southwest Water, the company that covers much of our region. Now it says it's continuing to deliver improvements to water quality and is investing £850 million over two years, highlighting, too, that almost all bathing waters in the southwest are rated as either good or excellent under the current monitoring system. Now, the government says this special designation at the sites here and others across the country is key to helping improve water quality. And that enables the Environment Agency to carry out much more monitoring constantly throughout the bathing water period, which has enables us to allocate resource, put pressure on, find out where the challenges are, if any, with water quality. So we can ensure that those who pollute are held to account, make sure that our water companies are putting the level of investment in to improve the quality of water. But campaigners and others have been arguing for some time that bathing water should be tested all year round and on that the government says it'll be consulting on plans that could include looking at the timing of the monitoring season in the future. Natalie. Thanks very much indeed Kirk.